हेलो एंड वेलकम टू द वीडियो लेक्चर ऑन टी मॉड रजिस्टर दैट इज अ टाइमर मोड रजिस्टर फॉर टाइमर्स इन एट जीरो फाइव वन माइक्रो कंट्रोलर इन माई लास्ट वीडियो आई हैव ऑलरेडी इंट्रोड्यूस्ड अबाउट द टाइमर्स एंड इट्स बेसिक ऑपरेशन नाउ टूडे वी विल डिस्कस इन डिटेल हाउ दिस टी मॉड रजिस्टर इज यूजफुल फॉर एक्टिवेटिंग एंड कॉन्फिगरिंग द टाइमर्स ऑब्लिक काउंटर्स इन एट जीरो फाइव वन माइक्रो कंट्रोल both the timers 0 and 1 they use this register that is a t mod that is timer mode register the t mod is basically an 8 bit register in which the lower four bits are set aside for timer 0 and the upper four bits are aside for timer 1 or counter 1 so in every case the lower two bits are used to set the timer mode and the upper two bits are used to specify the operation of the particular timer now let us discuss all these bits one by one now the first bit if you see that is the gate bit that is d7 for timer 1 and the same bit that is gate bit that is d3 for timer 0 so let us understand what is the importance of this gate bit now for understanding the gate bit let us go for this internal diagram of the timer so whenever you we operate the timer uh in timer mode then in that case actually we use a internal oscillator frequency as shown in the diagram now here we are interested in understanding the working of this gate bit every timer uh, has some means of starting and stopping so some timers uh, do this by software some timers they do it by hardware and some timers they have both software and hardware control the timers which are used in the 8051 microcontroller have both control that is hardware and software control for controlling this timer we require one more bit that is a tr bit which is in the tcon register and the start and the stop of the timer is controlled by the way of software by the use of this timer start that is tr bit that is tr0 for timer 0 and tr1 for timer So now let us see what will happen. Suppose initially you consider gate is equal to zero. When this is zero, this is an inverter. So after this inverter, you will get one over here. Now this is a OR gate. So for OR gate, if any one of the input is one, then obviously it is going to give you the output one. So when you set this TR is equal to one, basically the output of this AND gate is one, and you are going to control this timer. but in this case if you see when you put gate is equal to 0 you won't require any int 0 pin signal at pin number 3.2 and pin number 3.3 and therefore uh, it is called as a software control of controlling the uh, timer because here we are not considering any external hardware interrupt pin now now when gate is equal to 1 this is 0 so when one of the input of this or gate is zero we cannot conclude anything about the output and therefore in that case if you want here the output equal to 1 you have to activate this int zero signal that means you have to go for the hardware signal external hardware signal that is int zero so this must be equal to 1 so 1 plus 0 will give you 1 and when you again put tr is equal to 1 the output will be 1 and you are going to control your timer so basically by setting uh, gate is equal to 0 and by setting gate is equal to 1 in both the ways we can control the timer okay but when we make gate is equal to 1 then it is called as a hardware way of starting and stopping the timer by an external source and when we put gate is equal to 0 then it is called as a software way of controlling the timer and uh, as this a uh, method or way is easy actually from here onwards whenever we are going to use this team mod register bit we are going to set this gate bit is equal to 1 sorry uh, gate bit is equal to 0 okay now uh, this is what all about the first bit that is a gate bit then the second is c oblique t here also if you can see here is also c oblique t this is for timer 0 and this is for timer 1 so the c oblique t stands for the selection of timer oblique counter so when uh, we are going to make c comma t is equal to 0 then it is going to set 
we timer mode and when we make c comma t is equal to 1 then we are going to select the counter mode or counter operation so whatever we want to select according to that we are going to put either 0 or 1 in on this bit d6 or d2 now next two bits that is m1 and m0 are called as a timer mode bits and these two bits are useful for setting the different modes of a timer so this is a table and these are the different modes of a timer so here you can see if both this m1 and m0 are 0 0 then it is called as a mode 0 which is a 13 bit timer mode when it is 0 1 then in that case it is a mode 1 that is a 16 bit timer mode if you set it 1 0 it is a mode 2 which is 8 bit auto reload and when it is 1 1 then it is a mode 3 that is a split timer now you uh, remember that Normally we use the timer in two modes that is the mode 1 and mode 2 that is 16 bit timer and 8 bit auto reload mode and uh, therefore here I am going to show you uh, what setting you have to make on this T mod register whenever you want to select this uh, particular mode that is either mode 0 or mode 1 for this different timer. So let us now understand. Now suppose for your program you are using let us consider you are using timer 0 and mode 0, mode 1, sorry, timer 0 and mode 1 if you are using. So, in this case, let us set the values here. As we are using timer 0, so we are not at all interested in timer 1. So, just put all these 0. Now, we are using timer 0, but uh, as I have explained you, you have to make this get bit 0. C oblique T you are using timer so make it 0 and which mode you are using you are using mode 1 and for mode 1 what is the setting expected here for mode 1 you have to put 0 and 1 ok so just put here 0 and 1 so what is the value that you are going to load in t mod register for this so you are going to load 0x01 for timer 0 and mode 1. Similarly, if you are using timer 0 in mode 2, then in that case just make the change here. So instead of 1 and 0, now we are going to set, instead of 0 and 1, we are going to set 1 and 0. So you see here. Just make the change here. So now make it 1 and 0. So now the setting will be 0 x 0 2. But if you are using timer 1 in mode 1 we are going to use these upper 4 bits. So I am writing simply 0 here get bit is 0 I am selecting timer and as it is a mode 1 I am going to give here so what is the value now in this case the value will be 0 x 1 0 and when you are using a timer 1 in mode 2 then just change this setting to 1 0 so the setting will be 0 x 2 0 so these values you have to load into the tmod register depending upon the timer and the mode that you want to select so this is what all about the tmod register so if you like my video then please subscribe to my channel and share the video with your friends thank you guys thank you so much